Welcome. Let's take a look at how we can use logarithmic differentiation on a function where we already have uh, techniques for finding the derivative, but where the logarithmic differentiation might simplify things significantly. So notice we have y equals uh, a fraction, a quotient, We've got x times the fourth root of x minus 3 divided by x plus 1, that quantity cubed. And just taking um, a quick look at what would be entailed using our standard rules and finding the derivative here, we would be needing to use the quotient rule. And when we took the derivative of this numerator, we would need to use the product rule. And when we take the derivative of um, the second uh, factor in our numerator, we would be using the quotient or the chain rule with a fractional exponent because that fourth root would be a one fourth power. And we'd also be using um, the chain rule when we took the derivative of our denominator. So this is a rather complex uh, derivative to find by hand. Let's see how logarithmic differentiation can help simplify things a little bit here. So we start by taking the natural log of both sides of our equation. So we have the natural log of y equals the natural log of x times the fourth root of x minus 3 all over x plus 1 cubed. And now let's apply the property of logarithms that says the natural log of a over b is equal to the natural log of a minus the natural log of b. So we're going to end up with the natural log of y equals the natural log of x times the fourth root of x minus 3 minus the natural log of x plus 1 raised to the third power. Now let's take advantage of the product property that says the natural log of a product a times b is the natural log of a plus the natural log of b. So we end up with the natural log of y equals the natural log of x plus the natural log of the fourth root of x minus 3 minus the natural log of x plus 1 cubed. Now, before we go on, let's remind ourselves that this fourth root of x minus 3 can be rewritten as x minus 3 to the 1 fourth power. So now let's use the property of logarithms that says the natural log of b to the q power is the same as q times the natural log of b. So let's rewrite this again. We get the natural log of y is equal to the natural log of x plus, and now this exponent 1 fourth becomes a coefficient so we have 1 fourth times the natural log of x minus 3 minus 3 times the natural log of x plus 1. So notice that we've expanded um, this quotient that we started out with into a series of sums and differences and finding the derivative of sums and differences is much simpler than finding the derivative of a product or a quotient. So at this point, I think we're ready to start finding our derivatives. So the derivative with respect to x of the natural log of y on the left, and then the derivative with respect to x on the right-hand side of natural log of x plus one fourth the natural log of x minus three minus three times the
the natural log of x plus 1. So uh, differentiating implicitly on the left hand side, we're going to get 1 over y times dy dx equals now the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x plus 1 fourth times so constant multiple rule so I have 1 fourth times the derivative of the natural log of x minus 3 so the derivative of the natural log of x minus 3 will be 1 over the argument of the logarithm times the derivative of that argument. Well, our argument is x minus 3, and the derivative of x minus 3 with respect to x is 1, so times 1. Uh, minus 3 times, again, using the constant multiple rule, derivative of log, natural log of x plus 1. So again, derivative of natural log function is 1 over the argument times the derivative of the argument. So 3 times 1 over my argument is x plus 1 times the derivative of my argument and the derivative of x plus 1 with respect to x is 1. So let's see, we have 1 over y times dy dx equals 1 over x plus 1 over 4 times x minus 3, just multiplying out uh, together that middle term, minus 3 times 1 times 1 is 3 over x plus 1. At this point, to finish things out, we want to multiply both sides of our equation by y. And on the left-hand side, y times 1 over y is going to give me a 1. And I will want to replace this y on the right-hand side with the original definition for y. So our dy dx is equal to 1 over x plus 1 over 4 times x minus 3 minus 3 over x plus 1 times x times the fourth root of x minus 3 all over the quantity x plus 1 cubed. Now, of course, we could uh, use a distributive property and multiply that out and see if there's any like terms that we could combine, but this is a perfectly fine derivative. So we're just going to leave it like that. I hope you find this helpful.